All right, well, it's been a while, but game on and welcome to uh, Lightning Returns after who knows how long it's been. Where we're going to try to finish day one off and actually get ready for questing on day two and stuff in later episodes. Till then, this is basically a time burn to hopefully collect enough money to buy equipment for later. So any monster that pops out is fair game. Any little trinket shining on the ground like that is fair game. Because unlike in most Final Fantasy games, where you actually level up through XP, Lightning has to complete quests to get stronger. Now, since quests are time-based, there's only certain points when you can actually get those quests to do them. So finding people who you can get them from is essential. Because the only other way to get powerful enough to fight some of the bigger monsters is to uh, buy new equipment. We do have an advantage going into this in that I do have access to all the DLC equipment. And I will not hesitate to use that stuff and set classes up for it on later days. But we're still on day one, so we'll save that for another time. Maybe the end of this episode, just to showcase some of the weird stuff like um, the Bustard Sword, which is, oh my goodness, useful. Till then, it's just a matter of killing monsters, grabbing their money, and potentially opening doors for future problems. Can't grab the red box yet because it's a special chest for some reason. It's either related to some quest or it's time blocked. I don't remember which one it is, and I'm not exactly in the mood to figure it out. No point to talk to him yet because he wants two thousand dollars. If I had two thousand dollars, I would be doing other things. <laughs> You're dead. Turn that up. There we go. So even though I have um, some EP left, we're just gonna let it burn out. There needs to be an auto skip for some of those things. Shut up, Hope! I know! We've been over this already. If not, look back in episode one. The other way you're staggering these bastards is to electrocute the shit out of them. It's like imperative. You get better equipment. I mean, 200 da 500 damage on a combo finisher against a staggered opponent, it's really garbage. And we want to be doing at least twice that. Considering a lot of monsters have the HP in the well in the 10,000s. Purple thing? I want to collect those. They actually have some purpose. I think they go to the Monster Hunter guy back there who wants the $2,000. So, grabbing a whole bunch of them is not a bad thing. Just takes a long time. Now, the other thing I probably should do is at least travel to the Wildlands and get that place on the map because there are some things in the Wildlands you can do, like monsters actual monsters, not chaos and fringe monsters. But, um, unlike chaos monsters, real monsters have purpose. What's you doing? I can't talk to you. Alright. Dead dunes can keep because I can't exactly afford any of the equipment, though most people would want to get it fast. However, many if you're looking to trap, please head to Luxury. Are you taking the? No, I'm just standing here because I want to talk, randomly. Wildlands first, I guess. If only because it's also a lot of quests in the wildlands. 
Am I currently powerful enough to take him on? Probably not. Massive information dump coming on. Wilderness. The Wildlands. Yes, featuring everybody's favorite Final Fantasy thing. Well, one of them anyway. Chocobo. It's the world as it once was. Nature's last stand. Wild beasts still live and die here as they always have. It's raw in nature, red in tooth and claw, and the chaos here is just as dangerous. The people who live out here are not like the city dwellers. They're different. They don't follow the teachings of the order. Don't blame them. Next. And they don't want to rely on handouts either, so they strive to live off the land. A refuge for those who refuse to be tamed. Is that it? Light. Oh, game broke. Oh, never mind. The encounter is ordained. You have been led to the fountainhead once the chaos flows. Here you will meet the servant of fate adorned with feathers of white. The angel of Valhalla. White chocobo. Oh, yes, not really much of a spoiler, that? though, is it? I heard a voice. It said that I've been led here, and I'm supposed to meet someone, the Angel of Valhalla. What kind of voice? I didn't pick anything up on this end. A young girl, but I don't think she's close. It was more like she was speaking from the chaos itself. I just ran a search on this angel person, but it came up blank. Maybe you should ask the locals. Yeah, I don't know. Is should I go do that or get the desert dunes on the list? Come on, tell me what I found. Yay, teleport's been unlocked. And now I can actually drop directly here at Luxurian South Station. Yay. Map updates coming up. Okay. I guess we'll ask around a bit then, just to push this just a little bit. Yeah? What do you want? I have a question for you. Have you ever heard of someone called the Angel of Valhalla? You must be new to these parts. There's not a man or woman here that doesn't know the Angel. You must be new the to these parts. I just stepped off the train, you idiot. Chocobo, covered in feathers as white as the clouds. It's the sacred bird that only appears at the end of the world. So it's a local legend then. Yeah, a legend. At least that's what it used to be. But in recent times, many folk have seen the bird with their own two eyes. A lot of us are thinking maybe that story is true. Yeah. Maybe it is, but Dr. Gazal has been after it for years, and he still doesn't have proof that the beast is the one from legend. Dr. Gazal? Who would that be? The famous veterinarian, of course. A prickly character with the temper of a behemoth. But he loves his chocobos. Yeah, we know. When it comes to the angel, he's the leading expert in all of the wildlands. The doctor lives up the road a bit, in the village of Canopus Farms. If you catch him in a good mood, he'll help you out. Um, maybe. Hmm. A white chocobo at the end of the world. There's nothing about this in any of the official scriptures of the Order. It's a local story. A superstition. Even if it is, someone spoke to me. The voice was... Yeah, and this dialogue dump as quickly as possible. Take all this crap! Chocobo vet by the name of Dr. Gazal. Hmm. They said I could find him in Canopus Farms. That's just down the street. Wait, 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 wait. Let me grab this first before you beat my ass. 
Actually, screw you, I'm not fighting that behemoth yet. <laughs> Takes a little bit more equipment than I've got on hand. Now, if I were to equip the uh, Buster Sword, I might take a crack at it. Till then, to hell with it. Those things hit hard. If you want to learn more about the angel, shush. Hello there, stranger. Welcome to Canopus Farms. Aren't you like the guy just staying up there with the bad haircut? Just you have a mustache now. Things around here. What can we do for you? <sighs> I've come Get to talk used to you characters all look similar. Ah, got it. You want to know about the Angel of Valhalla, right? Well, Dr. Gazal's your man. Yeah, well, that's what everyone tells me. He's been chasing that white chocobo for over a century now. No one comes close to his passion and expertise. It's all he cares about since his daughter died. What is it? Oh, yeah, just oh, rudely walk through. I Asshole. shouldn't have said anything about his daughter. It's not a secret or anything, but he really hates anybody talking about it. The doctor well, first came think about it. You're, I'm a stranger. You're just they telling me the guy's life the story. Life I'll... But just... about a century ago, she was killed while they were both out tracking chocobos. Why are you telling me this? Magic. The doctor never really told the whole story of what happened. But after that, he threw himself even deeper into his research and work. Soon, it was all he cared about. But listen, promise me one thing, okay? No. I won't let on that you told me. Don't worry. Thanks. I'd appreciate it. Why are you telling me this? I I'm mean, a total Emperor stranger. Knows the story, of course, but he wouldn't like it if strangers started asking about his past. Anyway, if you're interested in seeing the legendary Chocobo for yourself, Dr. Gazal is the man you have to talk to. They say he's seen the Angel of Valhalla more than a few times. At least a Chocobo that looks just like it. Sounds like Great. It. Can I go now? I my hunting what do you mean? Oh my... Uh, yeah, you need the freaking greens. Got it. So, you still haven't talked to Dr. Let Trust me later. go! Oh, you pain in the ass. What do you want? I want to know more about the Angel of Valhalla. Go away. This dialogue I runs together. Things. The encounter is ordained. You have been led to the fountainhead whence the chaos flows. Does that mean anything to you? Great Etro's helm. Where did you hear those words? Who spoke them? A young girl, but I never saw her. Whose voice born on the wind? Oh, skip, huh? Yeah, skip. An ocean of great chaos buried beneath a temple. Do you think it could be true? Does the Order know anything about it? No, I'd say it's likely they don't. That temple appeared here from the other world, from Valhalla itself. When it still stood in Valhalla, it was responsible for sealing away a power. The one. Excuse me, do you know anything about the Angel of Valhalla? Do I? You're as smart as you look coming to me with that question. I'll have you know, I am the oldest. Yes, that's right. The oldest surviving student of the great Dr. Ghazal himself. First, oldest space. surviving. The legendary Chocobo, the so-called Angel of Valhalla, is not a creature anyone can find just by looking for it. <laughs> Except, I'm guessing you're gonna tell me that you can. Not quite, but I can tell you what the good doctor has told me. That angel is anything but angelic. It's a rough, wild beast. He deliberately seeks out his mortal foe, the Chocobo Eater. Created so much. See, if you wish to find the white Chocobo of legend... I should find a Chocobo Eater. Precisely. I knew you were smart. Now, the last sighting of a Chocobo Eater was in the city of... Thank Rome. you! If you want to find the prey, seek out the predator. It makes sense. <laughs> you should Kinda. head east and find the city of ruins. Or uh, not worry about and see if I can actually get something else done out here. Hopefully, not getting a fight with a damn behemoth. Doggy. A couple of these, I think, moon blossoms. Oh god, not one of these. You disgust me. Oh, 
These things are a major pain in the ass. Because even if you stagger them, they don't die. At the beginning of the game, these things have, let's see, 36,000 HP, and I did a full cycle and only did 6,000 damage. It's, this is gonna take a bit. Did I ever tell you what the definition of insanity is? I'm just gonna die anyway at this point. Dead. I'm, yeah, of course. I have no choice. I don't have the EP to survive. I don't have the money to buy items yet. That little bastard's course gonna kill my ass. Your escape just now cost you an hour here in the world. I don't care, Hope. Can we get to the next day already so I can actually do quests and buy shit? It's nearly six. I'm sure you know what that means. No need to tie up any loose ends, though. Oh God, no. That bastard still kill my ass. Cause again, need this is why there's DLC weaponry. You know, if you're just gonna keep following my butt, I'm gonna put one on and kill you with it. See, this weapon does 340. This thing does 570. I wonder what's about to happen. Welcome back, Light. Now step forward and offer your Aradia so we can give time back to the world. Pray. As the world dies around me, I offer this blessing. Is this fruit from the Light? We done with the supposition dump yet? Can I play this damn thing finally? Seriously? With the power of Aradia, you have successfully extended the world's life. Okay. Come here and Shut up, Ho. Okay. Equipment. All right, finally time to actually rearrange the schemata and get crap in the right place. This won't take long. Uh, as I mentioned, though, Cloud's armor. We also have uh, Yuna from both games. I think in here is also... Uh, yep. Lara Croft. I have two liberators. Why would I buy two liberators? God, explains a lot, actually. Well, that should do it. I guess had I known I had two of those swords, it would have made sense why I was getting killed in the money department. Well... Next day, we'll start off with actually armed to the teeth. This is good. We can buy equipment, we'll sell those two useless weapons, and get things going. So, until then, I've been Cloak. Thank you for watching. And suddenly my poverty makes perfect frickin' sense.